people, make sure you have a Bible in your house, maybe more than one. Not just have it. Open the word and counsel your spirit so that you can be of good faith and not fret and be worried and troubled over the things that's coming over the land in these next few weeks. Because it is like a plague of death. But God's children shall not have to worry. The people that are covered under the blood of Jesus Christ knows that he rose out of that grave with all power and authority given unto him to raise the dead in us to give us life and he said he came to give you life and to give it to you abundantly whosoever believes that's what the bible says whosoever it didn't say this one that one only this one it said whosoever believes and you know what belief is it says faith is the evidence of what you hope for but you cannot see it. The substance, you cannot see it. So all you got to do is have hope, people, and belief and trust in the Lord Jesus. And you shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's John 3.16. And God cannot lie. He is not like man that he tells lies. His word is true and faithful. You can stand on it. It is a solid foundation. And I am a living witness giving a testimony because I know for a fact that it is by the Lord's hand that I've been blessed and given life that I should not fear anything, especially not this plague because God has power and authority over the plague. He can stay it or he can allow it. I just wanted you guys to hear that encouraging word because I'm about to sit here on my deck with my birdies. Hi, birdies. Hi, Coco. Hi, Beach. It's a beautiful day. The skies are clear. No chemtrails. Well, some clouds, but you can tell the difference between a cloud and a chemtrail. See, that's a cloud. See those clouds? See how beautiful it is today? 85 degrees, nice and breezy. And I got on my Christmas socks. And I'm about to sit here and study to show myself approved people. Get your word. Get into the word. It will encourage you. It will strengthen you in these times. When people looking around say, what is happening? We got to stay hidden in our homes. But the children of God, they don't have to worry. Just like these birds, they're not worried. As long as they're eating. God, take care of you people. There's a lady over there swimming in the pool. This is a beautiful location. I got to admit, people. If it weren't for this plague, more people would be coming out and enjoying the beauty of this weather. We don't have a lot of people coming down because of the, uh, the plague. But anyway, I thought I would give you an encouraging word and let you see some beauty. Outside, listen, I can just lay here in my comfy bed and watch the view. Well, I can get in my rocking chair and I can sit out there, but I haven't gotten that hole yet, my people. It's coming. What does this say? Hope, faith love. That's what we live by. 
those who believe and trust in the Lord. We we walk not by sight. We don't we walk by faith. And we know who is our God. He is the mighty God. He will not allow one hair on your head to be harmed. Believe in him and trust in him. And he shall deliver you. Enjoy your day and be blessed. And have no fear. But God did not give you a spirit of fear. What does the word say? And he gives you a spirit of power and love and a sound mind. Stand on the word. Stand on the Lord's love for you. For he so loved us that he gave us his only begotten son, Yeshua Jesus, that whosoever believes in him shall that's John 3.16. You can trust in this word. Amen.